Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. This video is useful for 8th standard onwards. Okay, keep watch forward, you will understand very clearly. Okay students, in the previous class I told about negative work done. Work done is negative. What is the significance of that? Okay, that I will tell you now. You see this ball. It is at rest. This is at rest because downward force is gravitational force, upward force is normal force due to my hand. Now, I am taking this ball from here to here. It has traveled a displacement S. Okay. So here work done by the gravitational force is negative because the force is downward but displacement is upward, opposite direction. So work done is negative. What happens in this case? So when this object moved from here to here because of my hand, I am taking this ball from here to here, I have done a work that is negative work due to gravitational force. So this negative work will be stored in the form of potential energy of this object. Means this object got some additional energy that is potential energy. Potential energy means energy possessed by an object which of its position. Okay, because we are doing this experiment in the vicinity of earth gravitational field. Okay, so whatever work done, that negative work done will be stored in the form of potential energy, means potential energy of this object is increased. Okay, now you can do equivalent work without putting any effort. I am leaving this object, you see. It is simply falling. Because already some energy given to this object to move from here to here, that is negative work done, is stored in the form of potential energy. The same potential energy, you can utilize it to get back your work. You understood? No. So negative work done on an object means Simply you are increasing the potential energy of the system. Potential energy of that object. Okay. Now in this video further what we discuss is work kinetic energy theorem. Work done is simply I explained F dot S force into displacement dot product. But you can find out work done by taking Final kinetic energy and initial kinetic energy. Simple. Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy of an object. That is nothing but work done by the force. Kinetic energy increasing means what? Some force is applied on the object. So that is the reason accelerating velocity increasing. So final kinetic energy is more than the initial kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. That is the work done by that force. That theorem we are going to derive with a proof. Okay. Watch forward. This is class number 75. Work kinetic energy theorem. Work done due to a force on a object is equal to change in its kinetic energy. So work done W equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Kf minus Ki equal to del K. Okay, we will prove this. Consider a system consisting of a single object of mass M. You see here, one mass is there. One force F, F applied on this mass along this direction. Because of force, this object accelerates along this direction. No, So, it has traveled a displacement S from here to here. You assume... Initially, this object was moving along this direction with initial velocity u. So, it has some initial kinetic energy ki. Then, because of force, it is accelerating. 
So its velocity changed from u to v. v is the final velocity after a displacement s. So final kinetic energy is kf that is half mv square. Okay. So work done w equal to f dot s equal to fs because f and s both are along the same direction cos 0 is 1. So f into s f equal to ma from the Newton second law ma into s s is a displacement. Okay. So w equal to this m into a a I am writing v square minus u square by 2s into this s I am writing as it is. How we get this from kinematic equation v square minus u square equal to 2as. So a equal to v square minus u square by 2s I can write. Here this s, s becomes cancel. So m into v square minus u square by 2. That is nothing but half mv square minus half mu square. This half mv square is final kinetic energy kf minus half mu square is initial kinetic energy ki. So work done w equal to kf minus ki equal to del k. This is work kinetic energy theorem. Okay. This is second method to prove work kinetic energy theorem. It is very simple. W equal to F dot S no. So W equal to integration of F dx. F is force applied. Dx is displacement. Small displacement. From initial position Xi to final position Xf. So integration of F is Ma. From the Newton second law, I am substituting MA into DX. A is acceleration. Okay. So W equal to integration M into A is nothing but acceleration. That is rate of change of velocity. DV by DT I can write. A is equal to DV by DT. Rate of change of velocity. Into DX as it is I am writing. Okay. Same initial limit means from initial position xi to xf. See here, again what I am doing, some changes in the differentiation dv by dt. I am writing this dv by dt, dv by dx into dx by dt. Because dx dx cancels, it will become again dv by dt. So I can write this dv by dt as dv by dx into dx by dt. Why I am writing I will explain you. Here dx by dt I can write as v. v is the velocity. dx by dt is rate of change of displacement that is nothing but velocity v. So what it will become? This m is m. This dx by dt is v into dv by dx. dv by dx into dx. You got it now? So, we will integrate this. Integration from initial position xi to xf mv into dv by dx into dx. This dx dx cancels. It will become like this m into v, m into v. Here dv is there, no dv I am writing. Here we are differentiating with respect to dv. Small change in velocity. So with initial velocity vi to final velocity vf. So m is constant, take out integration v dv, vi to vf. So you will get m into v square by 2. You know the formula. The lower limit is vi, upper limit is vf. Substitute m into vf square by 2 minus vi square by 2. This is nothing but half mvf square minus half mvi square. 
This is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So W equal to Kf minus Ki equal to del K. This is another method to prove work kinetic energy theorem. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon to get the notification for further uploads of my videos.